Hey techies, this is the Amazon tab. Is it really worth $130? Let's go ahead and find out. So before I go over any of its features, Amazon offers an accessory for this guy. So you can purchase an Amazon sling in a variety of different colors for really easy use when traveling. Not so easy to place the sling on the tap. That was the hard part. So the sling, once it's on, is actually quite useful because it allows the tap to be extra portable and protected while using it outdoors. The only other con to the sling is that you have to remove it if you do have to charge your tap because it won't charge with the sling on if you're using the charging cradle. The tap differs from the Echo greatly when it comes to portability. That's really the main thing. The Echo is more of a stationary product that is meant to sit in your home or your office, while the tap encourages the user to take it outside for a picnic or a beach outing. Though I would note to be careful when taking the tap out to the beach, just because sand is most likely going to get stuck in the mesh covering and you don't want that. But don't get me wrong, the tap can also act as a stationary device in your home as well. It's smaller and more discreet in appearance when compared to the Echo. Plus, the Bluetooth speakers are okay for just casual home use for non-audio files. As far as battery life, the tap gave me about 9 hours of use with playing music through different apps and interacting with Alexa just a I bit. mostly kept the tap in my room by my desk sitting on its charging cradle which is made out of this really nice ceramic finish and it actually looks pretty sleek. It was really convenient having it sitting on my desk when it came to setting alarms for the next day or just setting up some music to play through Bluetooth when I wanted to jam out to something. The great thing about the tap is that it's not actively listening to you. I honestly didn't mind going up to the Amazon tap and requesting something from Alexa with the use of a button. Others though may find this extra step as annoying or maybe an inconvenience. As far as apps go, the Alexa app allows the user to connect to a couple music service apps and no, Tidal is not one of them. I was actually pretty disappointed in not seeing SoundCloud as part of the list since I do use it quite a bit. If by chance you don't have any of these music streaming apps, you can easily use another app like YouTube or SoundCloud by playing the content through Bluetooth which is actually a workaround to the limited music apps. If you do decide to use Bluetooth to play from different apps not listed in the Alexa app, you can't go ahead and ask Alexa to play WCW by K-Camp on SoundCloud. She'll have no idea what you're talking about. You'll actually have to go in and manually choose a song just as if you would if you were playing music in your car. The only way to have Alexa control your music apps is to use the apps listed in the Alexa app. So here's an example. When you say, play today's top hits, I can't find without naming the app you'd like, the playlist or artist to play from, Alexa can't find it. So you must say something like Spotify at the end of your command, just like this. Play Drake on Spotify. Playing Drake from Spotify. Alexa can also respond to similar commands you would ask any digital assistant, sort of like Siri. You can ask her about the weather and she can provide that by looking into your stored location. Right now in Miami, it's 77 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. You can even ask her to feed you a corny knock-knock joke, like this one. Tell me a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Who's there? Oh. Lettuce. Lettuce who? Lettuce in. It's cold outside. Or do some simple math. What's zero divided by zero? Zero divided by zero is undefined. I found making alarms or using timers for a quick nap to be extremely useful. Put an alarm for an hour. Second timer. It's quick to set up by just tapping the button on front, but one con when adding timers or alarms was that in order to delete said alarm cancel or timer, timer, you must do it manually through the Alexa app. You have three active timers for one hour. To cancel one, visit the Alexa app. So asking Alexa to cancel an alarm directly will not work. I actually saw that as a pretty big inconvenience because the point of having a digital assistant is to decrease the amount of time of interaction you must do with your smartphone. So I do hope they fix that. This light right here on back indicates that the Amazon tap is powered on. So while transporting it from point A to point B, you can actually turn the Amazon tap completely off to preserve battery life. Going back to this link for a second, I ended up purchasing a carabiner to attach from the tap to my backpack and it actually worked quite well. When I was on the go and I needed to head out to go to a friend's house and wanted to bring my tap along, all I had to do was attach it to the back. 
It can even act as sort of like a boom box, if you will, and you can use it as you walk around your city as a music source. One thing I will say about the speakers is, is that they're just okay. If you're in the market for a digital assistant offering great and useful features, then the Amazon Tap may be the perfect choice for you. But if you're an individual who really wants crisp and bass heavy sound, that's actually a department where the Amazon Tap lacks. Then you could find a better sounding Bluetooth speaker elsewhere for about the same price. That is all for this video. If you found it cool to watch, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more videos. And I do hope to see you guys next time.